Now, of the states in southern India, Tamil Nadu had and continues to have the most distinctive political landscape, where language and issue of identity politics and state autonomy play a major role. Now, this is a state that's been dominated by the two Dravidian parties, the DMK and the AIADMK. Our next report by Siddharth MP gets you more details. In the year 1967, in Tamil Nadu, the DMK or the Dravida Munnetra Karagam became the first regional party in newly independent India to win the state elections. Ever since, it has been the Dravidian parties, the DMK and the AIA DMK who ruled the state. Drastically limiting the role of even the once powerful Congress party. Coming to the national elections, Tamil Nadu has 39 Lok Sabha seats. In past years, it gave state political leaders a major say in deciding the formation of governments at the centre. Over the years, that has changed. Let's compare the situation in the past two parliamentary polls. In 2014, the Narendra Modi-led BJP swept to power at the centre. Tamil Nadu saw an AIA-DMK sweep. The Jaya Lalita led AIA DMK 137 of the 39 seats. The BJP won a single seat. It was an election Jaya Lalita hoped to play kingmaker. But at the centre, the BJP led NDA had no need for her support. In 2019, BJP got its second term at the centre. This time in Tamil Nadu, the DMK alliance that included the Congress won 38 seats and the BJP ally won a single seat. This time, too, the big winner in Tamil Nadu had no say in who formed the central government. Over the last 10 years, the state has seen the passing away of two towering personalities who served as chief ministers for multiple terms, creating a sort of political vacuum. Jaya Lalita passed away in 2016. Her death created internal conflicts in her party M. Karunanidhi passed away in 2018. But in this case, the succession took place smoothly with his son and now Chief Minister M. K. Stalin taking over the DMK. Although the towering leaders are no more, their legacy remains intact. The DMK is in power in the state today. In the 2021 Assembly poll, as part of the AIA DMK alliance, the BJP won four seats. The Congress that allied with the DMK won 18 seats. Coming to the 2024 parliamentary polls, the stage is set for a three-cornered fight. The DMK and Congress are on one side, while former allies AIA, DMK and the BJP are doing it alone. It is expected that actor-turned-politician Kamal Hassan's party, MNM, could team up with the DMK and enter the opposition India bloc for the Lok Sabha polls. It is yet to be seen if he goes forward with the decision. Marking the seventh founding day of his political outfit, Makal Nidhi Mayam, veteran actor Kamal Hassan has dropped a hint that he would be contesting the upcoming Lok Sabha polls. Kamal Hassan did not overtly state which alliance he would be part of or whether he would be going it alone. But going by the points he has mentioned, he has mostly taken out uh, campaign points from the playbook of the DMK and of the Congress party. It appears that Kamal Hassan will be allying with the Congress-led India front because some of the major points he's taken uh, to the fore are the fact that there should be more revenue sharing with the states and also he mentioned the farmers' protest that's underway, and he also mentioned and alleged that the current BJP government is anti people. The BJP is looking for gains in western Tamil Nadu and the southernmost constituency, Kanyakumari, where its lone candidate won earlier. The party may also stitch together alliances with smaller political outfits. While the Modi led BJP may only win a couple of seats in Tamil Nadu, it is a fact that at the centre, the BJP has been forming the government without needing to depend on the Tamil Nadu outcome. Siddharth MP reporting from Chennai for Vion World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.